Hello, my name's Tim Conrad, and welcome to UW Sports Mobile. This is a teaching series on the sports stories that are going to be taught in conjunction with the Off the Bench curriculum. And each training video is going to talk to you about how to tell the sports story, and then there'll be another series that will tell you how to tell the Bible story. But each of them are going to be told in a fashion where you're going to do four different stages, and we're going to explain those to you so you can tell the story properly. The first stage is you're going to set the scene. Where's the thing taking place? Where's this uh, athlete from? Any kind of things that help set the scene. And then you're going to build the drama. There's a, there's a moment in these sports moments, these sports stories, that it builds to a crescendo, and that moment is is where the point is driven home. So you're going to build the drama in the second stage and in the third stage you're going to deliver the moment. You're going to talk about that moment that happened when this person did the thing that they were supposed to do and it obviously made the point. And then you're going to apply the fourth stage is you're going to apply that point to the kids lives as an athlete and then that'll help set up the stage for the Bible when you do the Bible where you drive home the point of where God's Word applies to the student as well. So today we're going to start with setting the scene. Day one, be prepared to come off the bench. So in setting the scene for this story, it's a soccer story and it's a women's soccer story. And so the, it happened during the Women's World Cup, the championship, and you're going to set the scene that this championship took place in 2019 in France and the United States national team actually won the tournament. But it's how they got there and how the players played and who came off the bench to make it to the final game to win the game. And so Kristen Press is a player on the national team and you're going to talk about the World Cup that she played in. And I think you could build this, this scene with the fact that it's in France, it's women from around the world in multiple countries and the United States is going to play and they have to play seven games to win the World Cup. And in order to win the World Cup, a team has to play three games in a round robin and then four games of a knockout stage to get to the final. And so it's a very tough tournament. You have to have players that are uh, on the bench in case someone gets hurt or someone gets tired or whatever happens, you have to have bench players. And so how the bench players are being used and setting up in the World Cup is setting the scene that for this particular story. Kristen Press is a substitute that played in all seven games as a substitute except for one game where she was a, not a substitute she played as a starter and she took the place of the greatest player on the team and she did an amazing thing and scored the goal to help the team go ahead to get to the final so you're gonna set the scene by helping the kids understand the women's world cup who plays where was it and how Kristen press was a substitute in the second stage of the story, you're going to build the drama. You're going to talk about the fact that she prepared, she was prepared for this moment. And this moment, she came off the bench many times. She had played for the national team 121 times in her career. She's an older player on the national team. She's 30 years old and she's played on the national team for many years. And so the coach knows her, knows that she's a fast player. She's not real tall. But she is a fast player that when she comes in as a substitute, the other team's a little tired and she is quick and fast. And you'll see that in the moment where you're going to come to that uh, big moment. So in the building of this drama, you're going to talk about the fact that she did not pout on the bench. She, she was with her team. She was prepared. She knew what to do. And she had practiced with the team. She would played with the team. She was prepared for this moment. And so in five games, she was a substitute. She came off the bench. But in the sixth game, she was a starter. She took the place of the, uh, the best player, Megan, from the national team and became the person that was starting and the moment that we're talking about where she was prepared for that moment came in game six 
And so that is how you build the drama towards the moment. The moment was in the game six against England in the semifinal. And we have a video that's going to explain who Kristen Press is and show the moment that where she came in and started the game and scored an amazing goal. And the, her friend that served the ball to her from the wing was actually a player that played with her at Stanford. She had been prepared. She was a scorer. She knew how to score. Even though she's on the bench, she got a lot of chances to play because she came off the bench and she was fast and she knew how to score. She had played in Stanford for 26 games in her senior year and scored 26 goals. She was a goal scorer. She was prepared for this moment. So you're going to show the video and you're going and it's only about a minute long and you're going to build up that moment in the building of the drama and then you can set up the video by saying and in this game right off the bat she came and she was a starter and let's see how it happened. The way I prepare and the way that um, I feel most confident about the way I can perform is to just be super focused on the game. Um, and I think that um, the early goals do represent um, how prepared we are going into these games, how excited we are. Um, in the beginning of the tournament, we were kind of the last game of every round. And I think that they By the bell, right side, cross, done, go! It is press on it. Kristen Press wide open at the back post. Everyone is focused on the delivery instead of picking up players in the box. And Kristen Press with a sweet header near post on Carly Telford. In stage four, you're going to apply the truth. The key point for the day is that you, a player who uh, prepares well plays with confidence. There's a confidence in you when you prepare and you know if you've studied for a test and you know the answers, then you, you're confident when you take that test. When Kristen Press came off the bench and was a starter, she was prepared and she was confident that she could score. And that header that she just scored in that video that you saw, there was no hesitation. She went there, she knew, she went after that ball, and she put it in the back of the net. People who are pre players who are prepared play with confidence and play well. That's the application of this moment. She played for 26 years. She was four years old when she started. She was 30 years old when she scored that goal. For 26 years, she had been preparing for that moment. And each of us, as athletes, we have moments that come when the coach says, come off the bench and go into play. And if you're going to make an impact as a player coming off the bench, you better be prepared. That is the key point for day one.